start this thing out with a new poll that came out and the poll says nationwide poll said focus groups indicate that African American voters aren't focused on policy or making history by putting a black woman in the White House they're set on beating Donald Trump now I saw some people saying, oh, this polling is not correct. Black people, they focus on the ADUS movement and they focusing on reparations. I'm sad to tell y'all that that is not true. This is true about black people. Like what this poll says is true. Black people are not focusing on policy and they're not focusing on putting the first black woman into the White House, which they shouldn't be. They should be focusing on policy. But this is what I say when black when I say that black people are fighting for white validation and fighting for fighting against white rejection. Donald Trump rejected black people, and that's what they have a problem with. That he says racist things. And that's why they want him out of there. But when you see stuff like this. This is why we can't have a black agenda because black people are too busy fighting for white validation and fighting against white rejection. Like, you shouldn't just be focused on beating Donald Trump. You should be focusing on policy. Politics is about an exchange. But black people are just 100% a lot of African Americans in this country are just voting because this dude said some racist stuff. Well, Donald Joe Biden and done some racist stuff to you. Then they scrawled your families. But the white media tell you that he is the only Democratic candidate that is electable. So now you see black people shifting to try to vote for Joe Biden because the media tells them that Joe Biden is electable. But the truth of the matter is, Joe Biden is 10 times worse than Donald Trump. Black people, your life haven't changed dramatically under Donald Trump. But you know what? That 1994 drug bill, it dramatically changed black America. The Welfare Reform Act dramatically changed black America. The repeal of Glass-Steagall that let the banks run wild saw you lose 2.5% of your wealth in 2008 dramatically changed black America. But you don't want to hold the people who are responsible for that accountable. You want to vote for them while look at Donald Trump and say, oh man, he said racist things, so we're going to be just focused on Beating Trump. No, focus on beating Trump with the right candidate. Someone who's going to fix the problems that the Democratic Party and the Republican Party have thrust upon the black community. Not just be voting to beat Donald Trump. You doing exactly what the centrist Democrats and the mainstream media want you to do. This is 50 years of failure amongst African Americans because this is what we have done. We have continuously done this foolishness and we have to stop this. We have to stop this. We playing right into their hands, doing exactly what the mainstream media and the Democratic establishment want us to do. See, when we as African Americans start talking about our issues, The Democratic Party don't want to focus on that because it's going to upset white people in the Midwest. But we have to force their hands. We can't take their side and say, you know what? Our issues, we're going to put it to a side, put our issues aside 
for the betterment of the Democratic Party. We've done that for 50 years. We saw and have seen what the results are of us doing that. And that is that we haven't made any economic gain in 50 years. We can't continue to do this, black people. We just can't. It, it doesn't make any sense for us to continue to doing this. Putting our issues aside for the betterment of the Democratic Party, putting our gender ahead of our race, putting our sexual orientation ahead of our race, while our race continue to crumble. Continue to crumble. We got to stop this. You think about this smoke. There were, um, I can't really trust anything that goes on because you have the media and the media are going to tell you, like basically they were there, they, the Democratic Party, they have who they want and they supposed to be for the people. The people say, that we want this, we want, now some people don't say anything about policy, they do want representation they want a gay guy in office they want a black woman in office they want a black nobody seems to care about the policies that are going to help you I, I, live longer or you have a happy life and the media knows this and yeah. they plays off of it and that's why i have started to say that twitter and all this uh, like twitter stuff like that like i, I wish i could ask like I think Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, he made one of the motherfuckers. Like, I want to ask them, like, yo, what did y'all make Twitter and stuff for? Because I think that they made it just be some, like, friendly thing. But then over the years, it grew. Yeah, and... It grew, and then it transformed into something that they didn't seem to want. Yeah, because now you have black people and other Latinos and whites and everybody who are taking this and using their tools against them to fight against the powers that be. But the thing is, NSNBC, CNN, Fox News, them, they still own the old heads. They still own the old heads. And that's why you see so many black people is just focusing in on Trump. Because if you sit around watching NSNBC, that's all they talking about. Like I said before about NSNBC, NSNBC talked about Trump sleeping with um, that prostitute, that hooker or whatever, 495 times and talk about the war in Yemen zero times. See, this, this is what they're doing. They're indoctrinating black people. They're indoctrinating Americans with what they want them to focus on. And that's why they have put all of the focus on defeating Trump. Well, now it got all of these people out here getting ready to go walk into the Democratic primary, not focusing on policy whatsoever. But we as black people, we got to focus on policy. Like I said, we on schedule to have 0% of the wealth and 0% of the land by 2053. We got to focus on us. We can't just be focusing on beating Trump. This is why I said you cannot allow for privileged people to lead the, your movement because they don't know your life. They don't know your experiences. But if those people get in a high place, they can start indoctrinating you with this nonsense and have you following it. And there's too many privileged people in places in the United States of America of African-American descent that do not know the African-American life and African-American experience. And that's what you see showing up in these polls. It's the brainwashing. And I'm going hit, to hit on another topic later on in the show. Maybe I'll do it next. That shows you this uh, this in play. But this shit has to stop, man. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe. 